I'm Tom Boriak with the Clay Valve Fueling Group. Today, we're going to follow on with our series of maintenance and quality control checks with our 347 GF underwing nozzle. Today, we're going to show you how to easily change the nose seal and the O-ring that sits behind the nose seal in the nozzle. This is an exercise that can be very easily done on the tarmac with very little loss of fuel. The first thing we want to do is we want to use a key that can open the nozzle, open it up so that we can access our poppet, and then depending on the key you have, mine has a lock on it, but there's also one that doesn't and you'll need to use a screwdriver. And then you want to use a wrench, and what we'll do is we're going to loosen our swivel nut. Once our swivel nut is loose, we can then rotate our poppet, which is free floating, off, can set it to the side, and then we can remove our key. Once our key is removed, we can use a screwdriver and very easily pop out the nose seal. This groove right here, it does not hold for an O-ring, so it makes a very nice position to pry the nose seal out. After we move, remove the nose seal, we need to remove the O-ring. We can use a pick, pull that O-ring out so that we can replace it. Please note that when you go back together, this O-ring does not ride in that groove. Rather, it rides on the nose, or in the body of the nozzle behind the nose seal. And there's a groove in the nozzle for you to put that in. This O-ring comes as part of a kit with the nose seal so that you do not have to order the pieces separately. Going back together, we can take our new O-ring, we can slide it into this groove. Once our O-ring is installed, we can take our nose seal and seat it into the nozzle. Be careful to go in straight so that you do not pinch the O-ring. Now that that's in, what we'll do is we'll put our poppet on. So we need to put our key back on, open our nozzle up, and tighten our poppet. Because we have a swivel nut free floating design, there is no height that you have to work on for the poppet. So we can very easily, now that that's on, torque our swivel nut back on, so we're going to line our poppet back up, lock it in place, and then we can torque our swivel nut to the appropriate value. Now that that's secure, we can remove our key from the nozzle and close the poppet. If you do not have an open, open end torque wrench like I was just using, we do make a tool that can be beneficial. This tool is similar to a crow's foot that will very easily allow you to torque over center the swivel nut. You can apply your torque wrench directly to the top in our 3 8 inch drive and then remove it and you're secure. That is our nose seal change. Very simple. Technicians with experience can change this out in about a minute in the field.